Hello, Bio 121 students. What I'm going to do right now, really quickly, is go over this uh, kit that you're going to take home with you and uh, show you what's inside it. And kind of break it down quickly what you'll use for each lab. Uh, each lab that you do at home, um, there'll be a separate video to show you exactly what you do with those labs. Okay? So, uh, in your kit, one of the things you're going to get is a pocket scale like this. You'll use this in, in several of the labs. Uh, this is one of the scales here. It's a digital balance. Um, it's an on-off button. Turn it on. Uh, now the thing is, the balances require batteries. They require two AAA batteries to, to work. Um, I tested out several of these throughout the summer. Um, all of them actually worked very well. Uh, some of them were a little more expensive than others. The college purchased ones for all students. Um, the only thing is the ones that were purchased don't come with batteries. Uh, some of the others did come with batteries, uh, but these don't. So you will have to get your own uh, double A, sorry, triple A batteries uh, for these. All right, so I just wanted to get this back together again. Uh, there's a little cover on it, a protective cover, uh, and you'll use this in uh, one of the first labs that we go over. I'll talk about the um, pipetting lab calibration. You're gonna use the, the digital balance or several others for molar solutions and a variety of things. All right, so in this packet, you're gonna find uh, coffee filters, which you can just get at home, but um, they're gonna be for filtering some of the material you're gonna to use to extract a, an enzyme uh, during a lab. Uh, during one of the first labs we do, then you're going to have the balance and empty out everything you know, in here so you can actually see. And what you need is a, a weigh boat. Okay, so there's going to be a little plastic weigh boat like this. This would go on the balance. Uh, and then, again, I'll show you that in that video specifically. And then you could weigh uh, water, which you're going to do in, in this lab. Um, or you could weigh salt or sugar or things that you're going to use in other labs. So you'll be able to use this weigh boat over and over again. Uh, if it gets dirty, you would just clean it out. Uh, so that's going to be used numerous times. Uh, additionally, you're going to have a number of these little plastic cups. Uh, they are graduated, which means they have markings on them that show you know, how much volume is in them, which is something you will need uh, to refer to. But in addition to that, uh, you might use them for some of the other experiments. We have several different solutions that you prepare. You have each solution will go into each little cup. So you have those cups, they are reusable. At the end of the semester, most of these things are all disposable. You probably keep the balance um, and you, just for yourself. Uh, these other things could just be disposed of. They would just be thrown away at the end, but keep them until the end of the semester. You're gonna have a number of these little um, plastic centrifuge tubes. They are also graduated. They're gonna be used in a serial dilution lab. Now, one of the things you're gonna need is um, a test tube rack, and I'm gonna show you in a separate video how to quickly make a test tube rack just from a piece of cardboard. So we're just gonna have you uh, get a piece of cardboard of some type. You're gonna fold it cut it, cut little holes in it, and then you're gonna be able to hold these in it, otherwise they're gonna just sit on the table sideways, and it's gonna be difficult to work with because you're gonna to have to be holding these and then adding liquid to them, um, and then potentially holding a third thing, so you'll need something extra. Um, there's some larger ones as well. You might use these for some other experiments that I'll, I'll talk about. Um, there's a particular one where we're gonna do a, a catalase experiment, an enzyme lab, uh, and you might be using these to uh, measure the activity um, of the enzyme in that particular lab. You are going to have in this first lab uh, two different types of little disposable pipettes. Okay, so this one is a much smaller one uh, for lesser volumes, and this one's a little bit bigger. During the first lab I'm going to go over, you're going to be just pipetting water into the little weigh boat that goes onto the balance, uh, and then weighing it, the weight and the volume should be equivalent. So one milliliter, say, equals one gram. So uh, I'll go over that, but you're gonna use these for those. You use these for serial dilutions. You'll use these for a number of, of different labs throughout. So hold on to them um, yeah, for the whole uh, semester as well. And some of these little rounded um, test tubes like this, they have little caps on them that, that can pop off. They're sterile to start off with. They're clean inside. Everything is sterile. Everything's brand new, sterilized, never been uh, really used before. Everything that's in your, your kits. Um, in one of these, it's gonna be labeled filter paper discs. This is just really a storage container. You'll use the tube for some other labs, but inside are these tiny little filter paper discs, which I'm not sure how well you can probably see that um, on the screen, but they're little filter paper discs that you would never handle with your hands. You would only handle with uh, a pair of forceps like this, um, where you would um, 
be grabbing, you could dump them out potentially say into your uh, Weibo if you needed to. Uh, and then you would be uh, picking them up like this with the forceps uh, and then putting them into say in the uh, enzyme lab we're gonna do into these little containers where you'll have different concentrations of enzyme. So there's that sort of thing. Uh, anything that's unused you can put back you know, into the little kit for a future lab, um, but most of these things are just have one, one purpose. The, the Wayboat is multi-purpose, you'll use it for multiple labs. You might use this in multiple labs, the pipettes in multiple labs. But those little filter paper discs are pretty much just for one lab on enzymes, so not a catalase lab. Uh, in another one, another little tube like that, you're also going to have some pH strips. So there's going to be a pH lab where you will, um, from around your house, get different types of liquids you know, so anything from juice, you know, and water, and some other things, and you're going to measure the, the pH of them. Okay, so there's going to be a reference to a pH scale, uh, and then there's the little pH test strips you'll use to test the pH. So it'll be a separate lab. Um, you're going to have some paper that you can use for chromatography. So what we're going to do is have a lab um, where you can get any kind of plant material. I'll show you how to apply it to the paper. You're going to then use then again one of these as a chromatography chamber uh, and you're going to put a little bit of alcohol in the bottom of it and then you're going to dip this in. The alcohol will rise up. You'll separate some of the, uh, the pigments on this. You'll get to see something about plant pigments during that lab. There are some slides Include in here some glass slides and some cover slips that you could use for slide preparation. Ideally, there will be a little mini microscope that would be added to the kit, which is really just an add-on, a clip that would go on to a cell phone. Um, however, um, we didn't receive some of the parts of that to because I was going to assemble them for you. So just hold on to them. Uh, we may still use them during the semester later on. Okay, same thing. There's another little slide in here. Don't open this up. It's a sterile slide with a counting grid on it. So just put that on the side for later on. If we are able to, you'll be able to use that um, in counting chloroplasts uh, later on in the semester, along with say the um, chromatography. But if not, then this might be something that you would uh, return back to the, the campus or maybe during our last lab, if it seems like it's not gonna work out, um, you might bring this one back to the, the school. Um, but like I said, all the other stuff you'll keep. Uh, there's gonna be a ruler in here that you're gonna use for one of the labs and there's gonna be dialysis tubing which actually is in another one of these containers. So in one of these containers here uh, is this, you can, I don't barely see it. It's, it's thin, totally transparent uh, tubing. All right. It's called dialysis tubing. And so the dialysis tubing uh, is used for our osmosis lab. And so what you're gonna do in that particular lab uh, is you are going to be making up different molar solutions. You'll be putting them into um, different containers, then you'll be pipetting them into these little dialysis bags. I'll show you how to seal off the bags. You'll then weigh them on your digital balance. You'll drop them into some water. You'll wait, and then you'll re-weigh them. And then we'll, we'll kind of see if they change, you know, or not over time. That's the, so you know, the little rubber bands that you'll need for that lab in the kit, all these sorts of things. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, so the first, like I said, I'll go over the each individual lab will have its own little explanation video. This is just kind of going through the overview of the kit to give you just some idea of what's included.